most amazing and revolutionary concept cars of 90s. In the dynamic motorsport era of the 1990s, Ford and Cosworth, renowned for their IndyCar engine prowess, envisioned a concept car that would blur the lines between track and street. Collaborating with Reynard, they birthed the Ford Indigo. This 1996 showstopper packed a 6.0-liter V12 heart, born from twin Ford Duratec V6 mills, and boasted a carbon fiber monocoque chassis akin to contemporary Kia Arti racers. Although a production version remained a distant dream, the Indigo's allure endured. Its developmental V12 power plant would later grace several Aston Martin models. Today, Jack Roush guards the sole drivable Indigo, while whispers hint at hidden stationary gems, adding intrigue to its legacy. Picture yourself in the 90s, sliding into the driver's seat of the extraordinary Ferrari Conciso. Crafted by design virtuoso Bernd Michelock, it's a one-of-a-kind wonder, sharing its mechanical soul with the Ferrari 328, even as the controversial 348 took center stage in 1993. But the Conciso is a departure from the norm, sporting an alluring aluminum body that exudes minimalist elegance and aerodynamic grace. A futuristic triangular side duct, a sleek windscreen, and a no-frills interior channel, the spirit of 1950s Ferrari racers, with hints of the 328 in its DNA. This 90s Marvel recently fetched around $150,000 at RM Sotheby's Monaco auction beckoning us to imagine the thrill of driving it through time. Before the Audi R8 became a legend, there was the alluring 1991 Audi Avis Quattro concept car. This automotive gem drew inspiration from history, taking its name from Berlin's famed Avis Highway, famous for both public traffic and historic races. Avis was a testing ground for speed in the early 1900s, with Audi's auto union racers leaving their mark in the 1930s. The Avis concept paid homage with its aluminum body, boasting muscular wheel arches and a polished aluminum-like finish. Beneath its sleek exterior, it harbored the VW Group's W12 engine, unknowingly paving the way for the iconic R8's debut in 2006. A journey through time indeed. In the early 1990s, BMW unveiled the captivating Nazca C2 the second chapter in a trilogy of remarkable concept cars. A sleeker, lighter iteration of its predecessor, the 1991 Nazca M12, the Nazca C2 was followed by the open-air thrill of the 1993 C2 Spider. These exquisite designs were brought to life by the renowned Ital design. Under their hoods, they proudly housed V12 engines, akin to those found in the iconic 8 Series Grand Tour. The Nazca C2, with its 5.0-liter V12 churning out 350 brake horsepower, reportedly achieved a breathtaking top speed of 193 miles per hour, leaving an indelible mark on the era of automotive design. Now that we have the exhilarating C8 mid-engine Corvette, let's rewind and explore Chevrolet's amazing journey to create such a masterpiece. Enter the Corvette CER V3. Chevrolet Engineering Research Vehicle, unveiled at the 1990 Detroit Auto Show. This marvel boasted futuristic features like all-wheel drive, four-wheel steering, and Formula One-inspired active suspension. Under the hood, a turbocharged Corvette ZR1 5.7-liter V8 engine roared, mated to a six-speed automatic gearbox. Its stunning carbon fiber and Kevlar bodywork, complete with scissor-style doors, exuded pure exoticism. Yet, was it production ready? Not quite. We'd have to wait patiently for nearly two more decades for the birth of a true mid-engine Corvette. The journey was long, but the destination, oh, so thrilling. A decade before Ford unleashed its mid-engine Ford GT in 2005, the Ford GT90 concept offered a visionary glimpse of a modern GT40. Unveiled at the 1995 Detroit Auto Show, it exuded an air of revolution. Unlike the later GT's nostalgia-driven design, the GT90 embraced bold, unconventional aesthetics, seemingly inspired by cutting-edge computer-aided designs and video game aesthetics. Gamers of the era got to virtually experience its quad-turbo 6.0-liter V12 engine and Jaguar XG 220-based chassis. It boasted a jaw-dropping 253 miles per hour top speed, 
However, Ford produced only one GT90, and despite plans for auctioning it, the car was withdrawn, likely residing in Ford's hidden vaults. A cherished relic for 90s kids, it made appearances in beloved racing games like Need for Speed 2 and Gran Turismo. Imagine the collaboration of Volkswagen and Edel Design, a quest to craft a four-wheel drive sports coupe. Their canvas? A groundbreaking 5.6-liter Duty 12 engine, merging two potent 2.8-liter VW VR6 units. In 1997, this masterpiece premiered at the Tokyo Show, followed by a roadster version and a 6.0-liter variant named Nardo honoring the Italian test track where it conquered 200.6 miles per hour for an arduous 24 hours. Though mass production remained elusive, the W12 found its purpose, first propelling the Volkswagen Phaeton and later gracing esteemed VW Group vehicles, including the iconic Bentley Continental, a tale of innovation and power etched in automotive lore. In the mid-90s when Fiat took the helm of Alfa Romeo, as the brand ventured away from its heritage, it'll design, led by Giorgetto Giugiaro and his son Fabrizio, yearned to revive Alfa's racing legacy. Enter the Alfa Romeo Sierra concept car, born from a front-wheel drive 164 set in chassis, but transformed into a mid-engine, all-wheel drive powerhouse. Sporting a 400-horsepower twin-turbo Bosso V6, it boasted aluminum and carbon fiber artistry, bearing an iconic Alpha grille and F1-inspired aerodynamics. Despite plans for limited production and racing, the Sycara remained a tantalizing dream. In the dynamic 1990s, the 1995 Chrysler Atlantic emerged as an iconic American concept car redefining automotive design at a time when technology and creativity were advancing rapidly. What's intriguing is that the man behind this masterpiece, Bob Habak, didn't draw inspiration from the depths of the Atlantic Ocean, as the name might suggest, but from the legendary Bugatti Atlantique. Remarkably, despite potential legal challenges, the Atlantic not only survived but thrived, becoming one of the most celebrated American concept cars of the 90s. Its radical 1930s-inspired design, coupled with a vintage straight-8 4.0-liters engine, captivated automotive enthusiasts. While the desire for this automotive marvel didn't materialize into production, its enduring popularity endures. The Chrysler Atlantic continues to make occasional public appearances, and its unique aesthetic even graces the world of car care products, ensuring that its legacy lives on in the hearts of car enthusiasts and lovers of innovative design. Want to know about strangest luxury cars? Watch this.